Today is Tuesday. Yesterday I came in the shop, made like three tattoos um, on my day off. Today I don't know what I have going on. I'm gonna ship out a book right now. So uh, let's let's do that right now. About to ship out a tiny black tattoo book right now. How does this sound right now? Let me know. This is the dead cat in the microphone, so it should sound better. On today's show, what can you do with that cardboard? We cut cardboard! You know what I mean? A little bit of that. I'm gonna use the paper plotter and uh, do this right, because the cardboard's pretty thin. I think I can make it happen. <laughs> oh. What up, pimps? On today's cardboard cutoff, we'll be cutting some cardboard with Wayne and then dancing in the rain. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck man, it's <He's> slow. <laughs> Why does anyone get tattooed, dude? Got me here fucking slicing cardboard. Oh man. Oh man. Alright, if you had to have sex with any of the Jacksons, which Jackson would you go for? The dad. I'm just <laughs> <laughs> dude, I did not see that one coming. I was like, it's obvious, Janet, duh. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Big Daddy Jackson 5 himself, the papa. The child exploiter. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Hey Wayne, what kind of paper are you painting on? You painting on arches? Yeah, bro! <laughs> yeah! All over it. Yep. Mm hmm. No, not IKEA boxes. No, no way. Too cool for that shit. A little bit of that, dude. You know what I'm saying? Fucking canvas daddy for sure. They don't call me the Flash Man for nothing, Tony. You don't even understand how lit I get after I eat tofu on a slow day at work. Your boy gets hyper, he likes to dance. He likes to put tape on cardboard. How's that look? Sick? Would you hang this in your house? <laughs> How much think it's worth that auction right there? It's timeless, really it's timeless. Ooh, what up dude? You call yourself Tape Job Tony? What about me, man? Can't fucking tape like this. A little bit of that. Ooh, it's okay, all right. A little bit of that, a little bit of that, a little bit of that, a little bit of that. You had Legos, I had tape growing up. You know, it's kind of a joke, but that's like, it's pretty real. <laughs> I used to like play with duct tape and stuff. Hey guys, quick thing I just thought of. I just realized that Anthony is my Ela. To him, I am as Ethan. You don't see it at all? I'm picturing my head. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's totally Ela. Like, Anthony's thin, he has long hair, he's quiet, has the same laugh as Ela. Um, this is how this is going. This is on um, some really expensive arches paper. You can find it, um, it's kind of a little secret. It comes when you go to Ikea. When you go to Ikea and you look on the outside of the box, it's the same exact material as arches. Don't be fucking fooled by expensive shit, guys. Hey, Anthony, check me out, I'm painting. Look at it, dude. Woo! See that shit? You guys see that? Look at this. Woo! 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 <laughs> I'm painting, bro. Oh, yeah. Meow, meow, meow.
God, that fucking stupid ass non copyrighted beat from YouTube's in my head. Makes me want to beat my head in the ground. <laughs> <laughs> all done. Now it's got a tattoo her, huh? Mm -hmm. Let me dry you off, honey. <laughs> Alright, so since I don't know what to make for today as far as video goes, now I want to sit here and just fucking talk to you guys about nothing. Um, I just had the bright idea to have Anthony interview me right now. I have no idea what he's going to ask. I barely even know what I'm going to ask. Who knows? And, uh, yeah, we'll see. All right. Um, what's your least favorite tattoo you have? <laughs> uh, dude, you're probably gonna have some good questions. You're laughing like you know the answer, and I'm not sure I know the answer. I don't. I don't know the answer. But I'm just laughing. Cause... Okay. Least favorite tattoo I have. Least favorite tattoo I have. Least favorite tattoo I have. Hmm. Alright, I, I got it. Least favorite tattoo I have. Don't think like that. Least favorite tattoo I have, I think, is this one right here. You can zoom in up on it if you want to. Can you see it? It's a blown out Pharaoh's horses. Do you see it? Yeah, we can see it. This is my favorite tattoo I have. Guess he did this one. <laughs> hey, don't film my D, dog. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to go like this one. Yes, he did this one for me. It's one of my worst tattoos I have, but one of the best. Uh, it's one of my favorites. That's my least favorite, by far. Yeah. Next question. How much dick tattoos do you have? Oh, man. <laughs> Two. Next question. <laughs> What's your favorite flash sheet you painted on the wall? That's, mm. that's hanging up. Favorite flash sheet on the wall. Do you split sheets count, like between us? Yeah. Let's see, I like... I think favorite flash sheet, my favorite flash sheet on the wall right now that I've done, just me, is uh, is this one. I think this is... This was like the last thing I painted of 2016. And I think favorite flash sheet that me and Anthony have done would be... As of right now, probably just because the newest one is uh, is that one back there, that that little one right there. Yeah. <laughs> That's fair. That's a good answer, right? Mm -hmm. So since I'm putting Anthony on the spot right now, I'm making him ask me questions just to fucking just for fun. Why not? Um, let's do a thing where in the comments below, just ask me a question, and then if there's enough questions for the next video. We'll have an interview lined up. Questions and answers. Yeah. yeah. That's good, right? For now, it's all on fucking Anthony. Next question. All right, what's your favorite cartoon? <laughs> favorite cartoon? The Simpsons. Second favorite cartoon? SpongeBob. Okay. Yeah, I think Simpsons because it's the Simpsons, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I think uh, SpongeBob because it's SpongeBob. I shouldn't have to explain myself. Yeah. <laughs> Bakers or the Thai place? <laughs> well, that depends on the day. If you only can eat one more for the like, you can't you can't eat at one of them anymore. Bakers. All right, cool. <laughs> 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 All right. Bakers because bakers because it's everywhere in the Inland Empire. Mm -hmm. So like, if I can only <laughs> eat one, then like, then what the fuck am I doing in Riverside eating fast food? The only fast food place I eat is Bakers. So. 
So sorry, Thai place. Uh, Bakers, I'm going with you. Favorite music to listen to like right now? That's like new or old. Like this second? Yeah, like what are you into right now? Oh my god. Morrissey. <laughs> <laughs> right now, right now, Morrissey. Morrissey, that band, uh, Bromir, Brummer, I don't know, French oi band? French band, yeah. Yeah. Right now it's been, it's been Morrissey and that, and then... Yeah, it's, uh, the past couple of days, if we're talking about right now, right now, last couple of days have listened to nothing but Morrissey, so, Morrissey. I mean, because that's a, that's a fucking rabbit hole. We listen to a lot of music, I could go, mm. we can go on forever talking about music and... Uh, it's just too much. Yeah. So, Morrissey's my answer. What makes a good tattoo that you, in your eyes? A black outline, black shading, and enough space between the lines to where if every line gets two to four times as thick, it's still legible. And color is optional. If there is color, I suggest just primaries. No weird intermixed funky colors, because it might weird unmix itself and get blotchy and funky over time and fade out. Some colors are light fast, like orange kind of dips right out with a little bit of sunlight. I don't think you should uh, have to stop living your life for your tattoo to age correctly. A tattoo is supposed to be permanent, whether you're in the sun or not. Um, so that, that means watercolor tattoos out the fucking door. Yeah. You know, tattoos that don't look like tattoos, out the door. Um, Simple is best, less is more. If you could tattoo one celebrity, who would it be? Will Ferrell. <laughs> That'd be a cool one. That'd be really cool. I just love Will Ferrell, so like that's that's um I can think of a million other ones, but that's uh yeah, for sure. I'm sticking with Will Ferrell, for sure. Alright, what's something that you don't get a tattoo often that you really want to start tattooing more? Uh women. Not as in like the clients. <laughs> Not as in the clients. I tattoo a lot of women. I want to tattoo more women on women. <laughs> what up? Or women on men. I don't know. But I just painted this, and I wouldn't mind. Uh, I wouldn't mind tattooing that at all. So just yeah, like more girl heads, gypsies, cowgirls. I don't know anything. Just more more chicks. I'd like to do more of that. All right, what was your first first shop experience like? My first shop experience was a shop that used to be called Ground Ground Zero Tattoo in Riverside. It's a little tiny shop. It's changed shop owners and shop names a couple times since then. And I walked in there to set an appointment for my first tattoo on my 18th birthday. And... I like went with my dad, I was like a week before I turned 18, and we like left a deposit for an appointment and I wanted to get a big like straight edge tattoo in my lower stomach. And it was gonna be varsity X's, and then I wanted to get um I wanted to get a banner going through it or above it, and I wanted to get like um promises kept or minor at heart, either like a champion lyric or minor threat lyric. Like just an influential like yeah. straight edge song. I had a few different songs I was kinda of thinking about putting through it. And so I had my friend Ivan make the varsity X's on Photoshop and size them up the way I wanted and I brought it in super prepared. And then um I, I said I want me the banner to do this and blah blah blah. And I had a pretty good vision. And I think I went in like looking back now, I think I went in pretty prepared. And um so I came back for the day of my appointment, which is my 18th birthday, and the guy, like, oh, so we have drawn up. And he literally had the thing I brought him in, and then he had a printed out, like, ba banner, and then he had another printed out sheet that said, like, the promises kept just in, like, the font.com script. Didn't even go in the banner. Banner was just gonna put above the other tattoo. Like, zero effort. I was pretty bummed. And I was like, yeah, dude, let's just do the X's. We did the X's. He didn't know what straight edge was. He didn't care. It's kind of an uncomfortable experience. Um, shop was small and the station was right next to where the door opens. So people are walking in, they're looking at me like, what's that mean, Triple X? Does that mean like Vin Diesel? Like, <laughs> just dumb questions. I, ex I didn't want to explain myself, I just wanted to fucking get my tattoo. 
that was my first tattoo experience, 18 years old. Um, never walked back in that shop. <laughs> and uh, it kind of, oh, here's a funny little thing to add to that actually. So when I left, um, when I arrived, I tried to pay him the money up front. And he was like, no, 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 pay me afterwards. And I was like, oh, okay, cool, all right. And then I was so excited with the tattoo. I was stoked. I got a fucking tattoo. It was mm -hmm. sick. Yeah. And um, I was like, thank you so much, man. I shook his hand. I was ready to leave. And, and he like he didn't let go of my hand. And he was like, wait, 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 wait. You forgot to pay me. And I was like, oh, fuck. And I was so embarrassed. And I, I paid him. And it was just like, I want to pay you first. Oh, I was just like nervous. And um, yeah, I don't know. It was rad because it was my first tattoo. It was really cool. It. I probably couldn't have had a bad experience. But looking back now at all the other experiences I've had, I don't feel like it was the best experience I could have gotten, but it definitely wasn't the worst. Um, so yeah, that was my first, uh, the question was first. Yeah, your first like shop, shop experience. experience. Yeah, that was my first shop, shop experience, yeah. And the last question. <laughs> okay. What would you give, what's like the best advice you would give to someone before they get their first tattoo? Before they get their first tattoo? Well, I think that they don't really need much advice now because everything's so readily available. You have Instagram, fucking unfortunately Pinterest, you know, definitely Google, tattoo magazines, videos such as these. Um, I would say know what you want, know where you want it, and know who you want it by. You know, if you stumble into some random shop, you're going to get some random experience and I don't know, that's what I did, and uh, that's what I got, and that's okay, that's fine, but I mean, um, it depends on the person. Some people who really want a good experience and really think it out, they're prepared, and some people want to fucking roll the dice, get their shitty Friday 13th tattoo, whatever the case may be, that's the experience they want, that's the experience they're gonna get, that's fine. Um, I would say, yeah, just know what you want, where you want it, and who you want to do it, you know, and if you don't know those things, I just guess just go <laughs> fucking get a tattoo. And then if you don't want to get a tattoo, don't get a tattoo. I don't know. That's a hard question. Yeah. I don't know if that helped anybody out. I don't know. I kind of ramble a lot. <laughs> All right. What's your favorite and least favorite little design off this, this sheet? <laughs> favorite and least favorite design off this sheet? Um, I would say... This one's my favorite design off this sheet. A little skull. Yeah. And my least favorite design off this sheet is this one right here. <laughs> <laughs> I never even saw that. Really? Yeah. And you painted half of the board? I didn't see this one too until the other day. Where Which one? A little skateboarding guy. Okay, yeah. Uh, so, uh, hand me this guy. Okay, oh, what up? You fold out the screen so I can see myself. Um, yeah, so I think I'll make this into a video. I'll just cut it. There's a lot of long pauses between questions of Anthony going, Oh no, to ask next. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't know. I'll cut it together and this will be a video and then comment below any questions and then it'll be easier to do this again. So, another day where I have nothing to do and I don't want to sit here and talk to the camera. I don't know what to talk about. I'll also answer your questions. So, yeah. Below, ask the questions. And then I will answer them in the next video. I promise. I discovered that, you know, you're gonna hate me when I say this, but I think I think Anthony is my Ela. You're my Ela as well. No. <laughs> Why not? No. <laughs> Anthony is my Ela. I don't have a husband. What? What'd you say? I don't have any other thing. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Savage.